guys, it's Sky covering for Chris today. One of the questions I've seen in the community cause some discourse is if Adler is a good guy. My stance on the issue is pretty well known in that I rather despise him. However, today I will attempt to explain both sides of the argument before going into a grander theory regarding the issue with believing anything out of Adler's mouth. So with no more delay, let's get right into this. Let's start off by reviewing what exactly Adler did to start this question. To start, he killed Elster at least 20 confirmed times, but is estimated to have done so up to 79 times. From there, his lack of help to STCR C-Band's plans caused them to fail directly, causing the failure of the facility. And to conclude, he is the one who ultimately kills Elster at the end of the game, with her death being the result of wounds he had caused. So why do some people justify these actions? Well, to start, the whole scenario was set up for him to fail. Adler is meant to be a support unit for Falk, and seeing how she was ill during the events of the game, it is clear why he was unable to truly respond to the actions that were occurring. The second level of justification that kicks in regarding his mass murder of the Elsters boils down to him just being insane. This insanity can be seen from the I wear no mask quote, or from his willingness to push Elster down the elevator as many times as he did. The cause of this insanity being either the king in yellow, the virus, or the pain of losing Falk. So I think these are both true statements. However, my argument as to why this all doesn't matter boils down to this. If a man is driving down the street and he decides to check his phone, and during the time that he checks his phone, he hits an old lady, was he the good guy? I think most people would agree that no, he was not the good guy, and he was wrong in this action. And especially from the perspective of the old lady, he's the bad guy. To tie this back to Signalis, it is the actions that matter more than the reasoning behind it. Yes, there are reasons why Adler did what he did. However, that is what should be expected from a good antagonist, which is certainly what Adler is. So for me, there's no question Adler is a bad guy. His actions cause massive amounts of death and pain, even if he didn't intend them to. But the question gets more complicated when we wonder why would someone hate Adler the way that I do? This boils down to his personality. Adler's personality is that of a pretentious, pompous know-it-all. I think this can be elaborated on greatly when one considers his memory of the cycles. Reading Adler's diary, he states, When I read the pages of my diary, I recall events that never happened. This establishes that his memory of the cycles is based off documentation, which when combined with his first diary entry where he states that he accidentally mislabeled the diary title, proves that he only knows of the presence of the cycle thanks to the diary entries which means he only knows of what happens in that cycle from his diary. This combined creates an interesting question. If he only knows limited things about the cycle, why does he claim to know so much? Especially considering the end of the game, he claims to know that the actions of Elster will do nothing and just continue the cycle. However, due to his knowledge only being based off the diaries, this means anything he doesn't transcribe he doesn't know. But how could he transcribe any details regarding the end of the cycle when at the end of the cycle he gets shot by Elster and dies? What this likely means is that Adler has no clue what happens at the end of the cycle as he has never had the ability to record what occurs. Yet despite this, he still claims to Elster that her journey is pointless. But ultimately, it is up to you guys on how you judge this man, replica, simp, flesh, thing, whatever. But hopefully you guys understand my stance and consider the theory that I've proposed in this video. Until next time, it has been Ski. Ciao.